Alrighty, I'm here with Angela Rossetti. Angela, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing okay. That's you good. are our night shift's highest performer. Again, uh, it's you come and you go, but you are constantly coming back. This is like the fourth time we've been able to sit down with you. Um, really, really great. I really wanted to get some uh, feedback and some insight on kind of uh, what you consistently do to tell yourself or how you are always helping yourself kind of get these great results. What do you do when you're out there on the phones to kind of bring in these kind of numbers? You know, <clears throat> first of all, to be able to bring good numbers consistently, you have to be here every day. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how much this has to be emphasized on. You have to be here every day, sympathetic with people, listening, listening to the whole situation, the, the situation in whole of why they can't, so you can give them a better reason why you should don't. All right, great. So one of the things that um, we've really been focusing on lately is kind of the importance of listening to your customers and to your donors, and a lot of the things that can really uh, come to your advantage of listening closely. How, how do you kind of use uh, the ability to uh, have the conversation and listen to the donors to your advantage? Sometimes, like, in my life I've been through a lot. Honestly, I, I must say I've been through a lot, and I don't really throw myself in the call, but I can relate to a lot. And I bring up, and I sacrifice self situations in the phone call to say, yeah, ha yeah, I have been there. Or, yeah, I understand completely where you're coming from, and play your part, mm -hmm. and still get across to them the importance of it. Whether you get them to donate or not, you're developing a warm relationship with that person. Because these are people on the other end of the court. Right, absolutely. So, um, with some of the new training classes, since we have a training class coming every week now, and we got a lot of new CMEs out there, uh, a couple of new programs we're calling for. Uh, what are some tips and and advice you could give from the highest performer seat uh, to the other people that are trying to get their stats up or may just be starting to kind of have the great conversation that you have? Stay motivated. It can be frustrating. Um, you cannot make somebody do something they don't want to do, but you can give them words of encouragement. You can develop a warm relationship with these people. Don't be scared. But being here every day is something that needs to be done, and it's been emphasized by the company a thousand times, numerous times you have to be here if you want to be that top performer because one day might go bad, but the next day might be a blessing as far as numbers go. So you just have to keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So mm -hmm. um, on to a lighter side. This is the fun part. You get to your shout-outs. Uh, anybody, any person, place, thing, or event uh, you want to give recognition to, this is your chance to own this interview and to own the camera and give recognition on something out there that's really been on your mind. I want to give a shout-out to Dom Zach really cool dude. Um, I want to give a shout out to Monique, right. one of the new managers here. Mm -hmm. It's my home girl. I love her. She makes work fun for me. Virgie, you still do an awesome job every day. Um, my mother, if she could see this right now, um, yes, your daughter's working hard and doing my thing. And um, I would like to give a shout out to my special friend, Frank Hanley, and I would like to give a shout out to um, my brother-in-law, Kevin Hopkins, and my sister, Jennifer mm -hmm. Holshue, and everyone who knows me, basically, and who knows what I'm about. That's what's up. Uh, again, Angela Rossetti, uh, I always have a good time interviewing you with the highest performer insights. Thanks again.